Hollywood is creatively bankrupt. It's the only reason why they've continuously churned out remakes instead of creating new unique content. And now we finally have gotten the first images of the Crows remake and boy is the internet roasting it. But before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now this is a movie that in no way, shape, or form needed a remake. It just did not. The original was perfect as it was, and it will forever be iconic. But because Hollywood is creatively bankrupt and they don't actually know what else to create besides remakes, now we have to deal with the Crows remake, and the first images are getting absolutely destroyed. So it says a remake of The Crow is finally happening after 50 years of being talked about. That is just insane. And right there, all of the creatives on this project should have known from the start that it was just not a good idea to continue to barrel forward with it after so many directors actors, producers have come and gone, but it says, and while Bill Skarsgård is a fantastic actor, the first images of the upcoming film are really worrying. I think that him and his brother and his father are all amazing actors, but unfortunately, I just was extremely skeptical and did not think that he could do the job that Brandon Lee did all those years ago. I mean, obviously, the original movie shocked everyone, not just because of how amazing it was, but because of what happened to Brandon Lee. Yeah, people remember him because he's Bruce Lee's son, but also because of the tragic end of his life and the phenomenal job he did in this movie. And I just did not think that there was really a cast or even a director who could kind of capture the essence of the original and, uh, you know, make it feel new and fresh at the same time. I just thought that it was a nightmare project from the beginning. When they finally announced uh, Bill was going to be the lead actor as, you know, Eric Draven, but it also, uh, you know, now that we've seen these first images has not gone well because these first images have gotten absolutely annihilated now. I mean, here is one of the first ones. Um... I've got to be honest, they really made him look like Suicide Squad Joker. They truly wanted to go for, like, this super bad boy look, and while also giving it a sort of 90s flair, but it just does not come across all that well, at least in my opinion. I mean... The hairstyle is completely off. All of the tattoos, they don't look awful, but they definitely are uh, maybe not placed well, or maybe they could have picked tattoos that did not just look like generic emo boy tattoos. And then I think the, the clothing, like the the style also doesn't really fit because they've got him in these vibrant yellows and blues and these pops of reds. And I feel like if they had maybe stuck with the more cool tones like a darker navy blue along with a primarily black wardrobe, it could have looked decent. But I just think that overall there's nothing in these first images that looks particularly good. And this hairstyle is a travesty. I understand that they probably didn't want to give him a long hairstyle because because they did not want people to directly compare him to, uh, you know, Brandon Lee's iteration of Eric. But at the same time, I just don't see a way that they could have avoided that. So they should have tried to make it feel like it was in the same vein. And this project, like I said, has been 15 years in the making, meaning there was 15 years of them making mistakes, whether it was with lead actors or directors. And... We even heard many years ago James O'Bara, the creator of the Crow comic book series, say that he was skeptical. He was originally an executive producer, but he left, and obviously that's not a good thing to hear, but this remake's been in the works for many years, so on top of that, he also considered Brandon Lee to be a close friend and didn't want to do anything that would disrespect the legacy he left behind, and judging by these first images, I think all that it is going to do is strengthen that original 
final movie and Brandon Lee's legacy because so many people are going to go back and watch that and go, yeah, that was an amazing movie. And maybe this Crow remake will actually be half decent. But right now, the first images are not looking all that promising. And I think as we get closer to release, there's only going to be a lot more backlash surrounding it. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, and if you didn't give it a dislike, I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.